Power stations and industrial plants need cooling water. A lot of cooling water. That's why they're usually built next to large rivers. The cooling water is drawn from the river and absorbs excess process heat, which would otherwise cause the plant's components to overheat. It's then pumped back into the river while it's still warm. When there has been no rain for a long time in a large area, the water level of the rivers that obtain their water from this area sinks. As a result, there is less river water available for cooling. Low water situations like this often occur in the summer, when the weather is already hot. This means that the base temperature of the river water is already relatively high. Beyond a threshold of 28 degrees, some living things in the river, including fish, are at risk. To avoid damaging the river's ecosystem, water withdrawals from the river are restricted during such periods of low water. As a consequence, power stations and industrial plants must temporarily have their output reduced or be switched off completely. On several occasions in recent years, this had led to operational restrictions and production downtimes lasting several days in the Rhine, Necker and Elbe areas. One way of making plants less dependent on water availability is to change from once-through cooling to evaporative cooling or closed-loop cooling. Other cooling technologies that do without water altogether are also technically possible now, but they're more costly. Many climate scenarios suggest that periods of low water could be more frequent in the future, especially in the summer. These developments will have to be taken into account when power stations are built or modernized.